Hello, we are once again back at this car parking near Buckland, Monocorum and Horrorbridge and uh, we're going to go straight down to Goat Rock and try and pick up um, most of those tours on the other side of the river, on the Goat Rock side of the river Walkham, I believe it is. Um, we're going to save the Stickle Path Wood Tour and, and Brunel's Lookout Rocks for a different day, I think. And try and go a uh, longer distance one today to the other side and get all those ones near Bacator, I think it is, and Raven Rock. A lot warmer today, a lot less windy. Not windy at all, really. We're back here where the uh, van sheep feeding fiasco happened and I think the, the van is out again because a bunch of sheep just ran across to it. It's very coincidental, there's a bunch of horses heading for it now as well. I remember when I parked up last time the entire field full of animals just ran right to it. Let's see if I can see the white rock anywhere. There's the rock by the telegraph pole, the unknown one. I might pass that by. That's a steep hill that is. White rock is up there somewhere, not quite sure where. green on the trees now but we haven't got so much green ferns on the, on the hills, still red ferns. Where's your parents little lambs? Been real painted up. How close can you get to them before they run off? Hey Lon. Well, you're not running away yet. You're not running away yet. Has your mum gone up the hill and left you here? So it's 24th of April and apparently it might reach between 16 to some reports say 18 degrees today. So if so, that will be the hottest day we've had so far. Doesn't look like it at the moment. The sun has only just begun peeping out. It's been cloudy and cool before now. It's uh, one o'clock, early afternoon. This is the corner of Bymore Wood, where we turned to head down last time. Little crags on that steep slope. This time we're going all the way down. More little badger sheep. Now we're passing a big pylon, double pylon, which is actually connected to the one across the way, which we'll possibly be passing under to pick up that uh, unknown tour on the way to Raven Rock. There's Bakator Upper there, half hidden in the gorse. So this is the corner of the pheasant field and uh, this was the path I saw coming off it, what, that was the uh, nearest I saw to second foot bridge, so we might go down and check out whether the second foot bridge is accessible by public or if it's in private fields, which is kind of what it looked like on the map, to be fair. See that FB in the middle, circled? 
not the one at the confluence of the rivers but the one in the centre of frame now yeah it looks like it's in private field boundaries we're at the D of West Devon Way we're standing around there at the moment so not really sure not really sure there's a weird giant trench here that a tree has fallen into or was in Going a bit too far to the right, I think. Down there would be where the footbridge is, if it's there. Yeah, this path looks like it's trying to wrap alongside the river, to be honest. Might have to go back. So, come back to the corner of the pheasanty field. The weird panel built onto this tree here. No pheasants in the pheasanty field today. They were like five plus of them last time I think when we last saw this tree it was a bloom of bright white flowers yeah here's what it used to be I think we filmed this last time Maybe that very thick leaf, leafy grass there is actually bluebells like on the top of Norwood. Those bigger ones over there look like daffodils that have gone. And we are now once again at Buck Tor. Not to be confused with Buck Ator which is on the other side, which hopefully we'll get later. But this is Buck Tour, similarly named. It's got that surfboardy top to it. Passing it by, second time. It's got a great shape to it, that one. Bunch of muddy pools over that way. Runoff stream from the Walkham. And very soon we're going to be back at the Goat Rock. And that's when our tour bagging really begins. Going to go through the gap in the Goat Rock and then take a track that winds up behind left of it to try and get West Down Crags. And I love this place, this is a cool place as we found out last time. There's the bridge over double waters and you can probably see Goat Rock behind it there. Over here you've got these tours, supposedly part of Virtuous Lady Crags, but I'd prefer if they were their own tour because they're so separated and they're nearer to Goat Rock. There's this one and then along there there's another stack. Water level seems a little lower today than last time. Did we step here before or was underneath? Yeah, I love this region. It's very cool. Great place for picnics and well, hopefully camping, but I don't know. I can see why not. And there is Goat Rock. There's a brownie grey beach here. Once again, this is Double Waters, the confluence of the TV and the Walkham. I believe that one's the TV. And uh, this 
this one we walked over the bridge of there's the walking there's off the horror bridge one of this little hole this uh, canyon divide between the two stacks here Cool tour. And we've got this flat bit. See the tour still extending. And uh, this path will wrap around now and go uphill. And then before there's a T junction sort of thing. Before that, down to the left should be West Down Crags, which I'm not sure how much we're gonna see of from on top. It's gonna be a bit like looking down on that one after Beratour, whatever that was called. B something. So the path and this thing to the left of the path here, we're winding round. Could actually be West Down Crags. Um, it depends on what the path does. It might be more further up. This is a lovely wide track here. What uh, properties and private fields off to the right as you go up here? Is this a T in the path? Hmm. It might again be one of those instances where the whole area looks bigger on the map than it actually is because we may have we come to this sooner than expected not sure yeah I think that might be West Down Crags actually the path is doing its kink thing earlier than I thought it would we'll share here it's falling apart a bit I think it's like perched oh no it's not perched on the steep slope it's just a bit tatty Yeah, I think that is actually West Down Crags, that bit to the right of uh, Goat Rock that we've been spinning around. That's a hawk of some kind, just flew by there. That's a like a buzzard or a kestrel flying by. Pretty sure. Did not look like a crow. And you can see the other side of the hill where we came down earlier now. We're all the way over here. Path is doing its kink up there, we'll follow that in a sec. While Dad's getting up this steep bit, I'll have a little amble up the side of Westdown Crags, I think. Or on the top of them. Yeah, let's get on the top of them. So I think this is the top of West Down Crags, just here. Yep, it all goes downhill that side of the valley. You can see the path we're on. Yeah, I thought this was part of Goat Rock, but yeah, they've obviously called this a separate thing. Let's have a walk slightly more towards the front of it. So now uh, we're looking down on that flat bit you come through 
when you go out of Gurkha. Go rocks. I think it's over there somewhere. I can't really see it because there's so many trees in the way. Let's go with this rock here in a sec. Through these little woods. Over to the side facing the Tavy. Yeah, again, can't really see it, but Goat Rock is down there. We're on top, just exploring the top of West Ham Crag still. TV side, you've got some big rocks here, they probably form a cliff down on the TV side. Probably be able to see a lot looking up. Oh, there's a little track here going around these rocks. Up high up crag there. Oh, Dad's uh, pulled himself up on top. We're back almost at the Go away, fly. Almost at the track now, and uh, there's some little tiny bits of West End crags here. So there's that shed we saw down there. There's a track winding around. So there's a few rocks just up here alongside. Oh, there's a, a little wasp here. I hope he hasn't got a nest nearby. Yeah, here's the biggest, and then I think they get smaller, and there's a line of them going up there, parallel to the path, but we'll see how much you can see them from the path in a sec. Here's the other side of them rocks. We're going up here, and oh, look at these grooves. Some diagonals in the ground there. And we're going to take the left hand at the junction, which should just be up there. There appears to be a little sign bolted to the tree up here. Oh, several signs, in fact. This one says, Buckator that way. Yes. Uh, but we are picking up some other tours higher up first, so we can dip down. And Buckator is not just the tour, it's also houses, I think. Uh, Names of houses. The village. So that, that would take us to Buckator Lower. But we're going to go up here to find White Rock, I think. A few tiny rocks up the hill that direction. Let's have a look at the map to see where the next tour is. I think the next tour would be White Rock? No, 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 Country Rock. There's something here called Country Rock. I'm not 100% sure where to look for it. I'll have a look at the map. So it appears to be... Now we're after the junction now, so it goes round a bit and then on the steep slopes to the left facing the river before the river turns away. I just jumped up on the bank and I think I've seen it. It's over there. There's a the little track coming up the side here from West Stone Crags to Country Rock. There's more of it down there. Yeah, there's some on the slopes there. Okay. My water's bobbling around in my uh, satchel bag. I can hear it. There's some. Uh, it's not on the steep slopes necessarily. It's kind of perched on top. Although Dad saw some toppling rocks down the side of it, like Ballstone Wood Tor. See, I remembered that other one now. This isn't quite as steep as Ballstone Wood Tor. Let's go around here. Yep. Some little uh, lily things growing inside this. It's quite a good angle over here. So here's the bit of it which is a cliff. It's a terraced cliff. It's like got steps in it. There's a little gap there. This doesn't look to me like granite. Looks like something else. Slaty maybe. 
So yeah, we're just on this steppy bit here, I guess. out over there actually at the bottom of the trees there if I can shimmy around to this side yeah you can get a better view oh someone's been cutting down pine trees that's why that's a shame stop cutting down the trees deforestation stop it you can see all these little ferns popping up not going to be long before this whole place is populated and it's going to be harder to get to a lot of tours once the ferns come out. Well here's a, a little bit better shot of country rock. In fact there's quite a few, there's quite a few bits of rock underground here, like semi-buried. I don't know if we consider them part of country rock or western crags to be fair. Yeah, that's a nice extra angle. You can see the first terrace cliff here, and then down there, you can't quite see, is a second terrace cliff. Okay, so that's quite a nice one. I like that one. Country rock, tour, whatever. So, we're going up this main track, but now if there's a little track off to the right, across the downs, we'll take that one to try and get to White Rock. And uh, so far this journey isn't as long as it looked on the map at all. It's a lot shorter than it looked. When you look at how much dead ferns there are on the right here, this is going to be very hard to get through on the right when they're green. Let's see, okay, so that's the, that's where the Tavy goes up towards Tavistock around that bend. Saw another down there? I don't know if that's the same down as what we're on. Looks like it's the other side of a valley, but... Yeah, can't remember that. Those are little sparse blue flowers under the tree here. Oh yeah, it's up to higher wall red and that's what I saw. That must be, yeah, so that is that is the same down as the one we're on. It's just that there's a big ditch down here that I wasn't uh, I didn't know about. It's not a valley, it's just that it goes downhill. And then up. Weird, is that still I guess that's still west down, but a weird corner of it that we're not going to. What were you saying? I think that's what the road I could see for when we were over there the first time. And I can see people coming down there and then they, they just... You could see all the way up there from the other side? Yeah, I pointed out, I said, look over oh. there, there's a road over there. Oh, I didn't know you could see that bit. And there was a car park. I thought this hump, because there's a sort of up and down hump here which would hide that, I imagine. That's anyway, right. this is a, this is a track. Here. Obviously a track, so we'll take this one. Spiky bush, thorn bush. Stay away. <laughs> Yeah, okay, the bushes aren't going for me. Yeah, but that's why. You should dodge the thorns. It's you that's moving, not the bush. Although technically the bush is moving in slow motion. Speaking of which, we're near Long Ash Garden Centre today, so I'm going to try and get my cucumber plant. Well, these gorse bushes are growing in a sort of vertical way. That's a bit weird. They normally bush out. Lovely down. It has got hot, so I think it is going to be 16 degrees today. Don't know about 18 degrees. Lovely little bit of breeze here on the hill though. Yeah, couldn't see those contours on my map for some reason. Maybe it's just because I was ignoring that corner of the field. All down. Some of these clouds remind me of the film Twister. It's like we're in Oklahoma or something. It's that kind of warm, muggy feel. Don't think a tornado is going to come though. It's just the feel it gives. 
But there's no cornfields. Don't know if that's rock or the TV you can see in that little gap in the valley, but that's where the TV's running. There's one valley there. And another valley over there. I'm guessing Ballstone Wood Tour is in that little cliffy hill there, surrounded by trees. And then the Berra Tour is way up there somewhere in the trees. Probably can't see that from here either. I just noticed actually a feature I wasn't expecting. Up near, get my hand around, up near White Rock where we're going, there's a wall. So the track we're on meets a track coming in at the left and then there's like a farm wall on the corner and White Rock is on the corner of that, which is interesting. Didn't expect that to be up here. The thing is, I'm kind of seeing up here there's a little green clearing and that uh, goes to uh, the track, the green track that comes up from there. So I'd expect it to be up there, but I don't see any wall. You can see coming out over there, that's where we parked the car. We've done quite good today. Not quite far, and it wasn't too hard. Just coming back, that might be the difficulty. It's an amazing down, very large. Now we're at the bits where the tracks meet now. Let's see it goes up there, the green strip. Uh, there's a little rock here. Um, I wouldn't be inclined to call this uh, white rock. It's a bit too small. It's very small. So I'm going to go a little further up, I think, because I still can't see the wall. Yeah, the thing is, uh, this wall that's marked on the map, uh, where is it? Is there an old wall here, like an ancient wall maybe? I can see some humpy bits in the ground. Uh, there's certainly some some humps in the ground here. So these humps used to be, in fact, a really old wall, and the old wall's been marked on the map. Like, uh, as if it's new or something, or solid. It doesn't seem right. Huh go this way the nearer we get to those telegraph poles and that's that's got to be wrong because that's near the unknown tour that's the middle of the down I'll just take a little stroll up here here we're getting a bit too close to those telegraph poles that can't be right yeah I'd say uh, we're way too close now and a short walk up here, to, but we're way too close to the telegraph poles, so all these things happen down here. Buck tour and and uh, the unknown tour in quite a short space of ground down the hill from here. So that little lump there, that little tiny lump has been called White Rock, as if it's a tour or something. Oh god, oh no. That's the smallest tour I've ever seen. All right, so um, <laughs> with that in mind, that that tiny little lump there is white rock, uh, and the distance the telegraph wires from here is quite short, to be fair. I'm going to start cutting down towards the... Oh, I need to find the edge of the gorse, because that tour was growing out of the edge of some gorse. Uh, Dad wants to do a track thing. So, oh, a lovely little house. I think that's the one we passed on the way up. And uh, that must be the pheasant field, I think. And that's quite a big area of green. Oh, there are some green tracks here. Some green, green tracks leading into gorse, actually. Hmm. I can't remember if there, I don't think there were tracks as seen from the other side, though. Let me have a look around here. Because there's some gorse here, and then there's some gorse there, and the gap between them, so... Let's go fishing, basically. 
we're on the slopes and my microphone appears to be working well that does get very slopey down there actually so that is very steep so i think the way to get buck tour wait sorry buck out or lower would be coming back from raven rock on the track towards goat rock yeah, we're in a bit of a gorse surround here. Dad's staying up the high route, very wise. So, track goes through the gorse. I don't know if I saw that from the other side either, but maybe it's masked by these ones? I'm not sure. Oh. Let's cut through here. Oh, that's fortuitous. So this track goes underneath a uh, memorial stone. There's a piece of rock here. Someone's got a, a gravestone here. The Victoria Ellen Lear. Passed 1993. Dude, there's some very interesting sounding birds here, which I haven't heard before. Listen to that. What kind of those? I don't suppose they're in that tree. Oh, what's this? He seems to have like yellowish feathers on his back, but he's mostly grey. Hmm. He didn't want to come out. And that seems like a very steep slope. I'm kind of in line with one of, in fact, I'm in line with the unknown tour. Oh, what's this tree? There's a vibrant green tree right there. That's kind of got like cow parsley-ish things on it. I wonder what that is. Right, so because we're so near that telegraph pole and there's a buzzard flying around it, I just noticed. I'm gonna try going a bit downhill here. This is, um, this is gonna be tricky. I mean, we know where we've, we've seen it. We've seen it from the other bank of the hill. But getting to it, that's a whole other thing. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Especially not with these dry ferns. Jesus Christ. And there's no tracks through these. Yeah, this is, uh, these are slightly slippery, these ferns, these dry ferns. Yeah, if anything, I, th I think I need a bit of green to walk through these. Uh, this is not can't really walk on these and I'm surrounded by gorse so if I slip on these it's straight into these gorse bushes. But I think it, what I'm gonna do is if I see any green coming off here underneath those then I'll go down on the green. We're so near the telegraph line there. That's the whole other tour. Slightly better. Takes us, it's taking us way away from the, where they are. It's dead slippery this stuff, I almost slipped up. This looks a little bit silver birch-ish by the bark. I'm gonna use that as a bit of a landmark, maybe. Maybe I can climb up by the tour that's near the telegraph line. What's this green bit? This is a slightly tracky green bit here. This might be useful. If I can get to this. Yeah, I think it's a full on track actually. There's a little bit of dirt where people have been walking. Okay, I'm on a full on track. That's pretty good. Let's just go this direction. Well, there it is. We passed it way earlier. Damn. I have to go over there. It didn't look like it was that far back. That looks further set back than the uh, white rock we found. I can see the lower one too from here. So the higher one, half embedded in the yellow gorse. You can see that pretty clearly. If you look downhill from there, oh, this is the one tucked in in the woods there. That must be the lower. That really feels like summer now. 
feels like a overcast but very hot summer's day. I'm nearer to it now, I'm half the way there. Dad's probably thinking I've fallen all the way down the slope or something. Yeah, you can see the lower one quite clearly now. Okay. So this is Bakator Upper. Yeah. It's not just a few rocks buried in gorse, there's actually a, a raised wall stack. And it's down there. So, I think if I am to get the lower one, I'm not going to go straight downhill here. There it is. I'm going to try and get up to it, or look up to it from the track. After we've done Raven Rock 1. So, there's one found. Now we go back up here to White Rock or whatever's up here. Oh, bit of a killer going down a steep slope like that then up again. Gonna have to do it again in a minute. Oh no. There's where my car is. That's the slope. Dad wants to take back. So we're back heading towards the telegraph lines. Let's take a right here. Start heading back right down. Some doesn't look as steep to reach as I do have to clear the telegraph lines by going lower than it. Uh, that might be dad over there actually. Yeah that was dad back there. He went looking for me because I took too long. Starting and weaving, trying to find ground through the Silly ferns at the moment. Looks semi buried wherever it is. There's a bit of a track down here though. Right? I'm gonna try going across here to the base of the gorse. Hope I'm not gonna get cancer or anything from going too near these poles, whatever. Or whatever you can get from this. There's some rocks. Well, there's a bunch of rocks nearer where I'm going actually, so I'll keep going. Got some here. And then you've got some emerging here, which is probably what we saw from the other side to be fair. Presenting their slanted face. I didn't know this tree was in the way. Yeah, that's probably what we saw. Oh yeah, here's the best angle. Duck under the spiky tree. Unknown tour under the telegraph pole. So, from here on, I don't know what the best way to do this is, but uh, Raven Rock is there and down. So, don't know whether to take your dad with me on that one or just try it myself, but I'd have to go all the way down to the river, that's the thing because it is most visible from down by the river. It's probably better to go back to that track and then in to it, I think. But uh, we'll see a bit of the top of it and then I'll come up this hill. There's also down by the river, if you go all the way down there, there's a chimney stack. I think it was part of like some, an arsenic works or something. Arsenic mining or, I don't know, something like that. There's a bit of a track here. Uh, don't know where Dad is. He's probably up there somewhere. Maybe we should go find him. I'll go find Dad. Lovely river valley. Raven Rock's going to be there, tumbling down there, and I think there's quite a high cliff crag there. But I think it's better for all involved if we see that from the river path. And uh, there's a sheep and a lamb here, I think. I have to dodge him. And through black lamb. Go find your mama. Go find your mama. Hey, meh. Look at that monster. There's dad, found dad. 
there's an arch of gorse which I, I didn't see when I was down the hill there. We're going underneath the, uh, the little archway. It's quite cool. <laughs> bit of rogue rock here. I wonder if this is bigger than the one they called white rock. <laughs> I can't believe that that got marked out. That got marked out as something to visit, like something like at all. I think around here might be where the top of Buck Ator higher begins. Yeah, I think this is where I was. Oh no, that's where I think it is. That's where... Uh, Buck at or higher begins, I think, actually. So we're up on the track now, looking down. Crater here for some reason. <laughs> we're sort of in line with the pink house now, so Buck at or was sort of left of the pink house from this vantage point. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go to that crossroads thing we found at the track in the woods after the West Down Crags. And uh, I'm going to split off to the left, Dad's going to split off to the right to head back to the car. And I'm going to see if I can get Bucket or Lower and Raven Rock one before heading back. It's lovely up here on the down though. Not so good on the steep hill there though. Looks like a lot of coals. I think we're taking a bit of a different route back, so I'm not quite sure where this other track is going to come out. Hopefully on the main track. But I think maybe I can see Country Rock down there. Maybe that's where it comes to. There's a bit of a rock in the ground here. Big kind of flat rock slide. That's cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this brings us out near Country Rock. So, if we'd have known that, then you could just jag to the right after uh, Country Rock to get up here. Damn. Not that you can really see much in the way of tours up the way we went. You have to climb that horrible steep slope. This is the best tour so far, I think. I like this one. Here I am after the turning, I can already see a few rocks in the side of the uh, cliff here, but we're not at Buckatore yet. Just a few crags up here. Uh, crags? Oh no, rocks. This is a different flavour of track. Seems very well walked, I think. It's basically a road, look how even the ground here is. I reckon cars come up this way. So, there's a bit of a right hand kink before it happens. You can really see how steep the hill is up to the left here. I wonder if I'd see much without climbing. I hope I can. I think when the track kinks to the right first, that's bucket or lower. And when it kinks to the left later, that'll be Raven Rock one. I think I can see Bucket or Lower now, actually. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but uh, I definitely see some big rocks over there coming out. Yeah, I can definitely see them up there. That's got to be the lower end of them. I'm going to be spamming. This is more of a left-hand kink than a right-hand kink, though, which is a bit weird. Lovely steep tour in the woods here. Oh. 
roads have got rowdy because there's a residential here. Yeah, so that's the lower end of the crags I saw up on the steeple. Let's not disturb these dogs any further. Oh, you can actually, there's some tracks here, there's some tracks here. I'm actually going to go up the tracks to get a closer look. Even though there's dogs. Hey, there's some nice zigzagging of tracks here. It's not awfully steep. Cool, I think that's as slow as I'll go because there is a giant toppled tree here. I can't 100% work out where the truck goes. I think it goes down here. This is obviously car parking. Alright doggies, I'm just passing by, you're right. They must bark at everyone here. There must be uh, so many people for them to bark at. So um, we're taking this bit of the truck that goes downhill for some reason. Maybe this is the right hand tank. So we've got to look for a left hand tank after this. So, so we're getting further away from the uh, hill on the left there. And closer it seems to the Walken River. I think we're near the bottom of the pheasant field here. Yeah we are. So the footbridge is around here but I think it's a, like a private footbridge. It must be. Turns out we're at the Walkham. Walkham River. And we're a lot further from those slopes. Let's go around this for a bit, see what happens. Some, uh, angled squishy stones there. Slate. Over there it looks like an enclosed pool or something. Continue on. I looked on the map and apparently it's after Bymore Wood Crags on the other side of the river. What the fuck? I didn't think it was that far on. Oh, we got some uh, cliffy bits on the other side of this. There's some kind of Big rocks there, I wonder if that is the bottom of Bimal Wood Crags right there. Uh, I can see the... We're, okay, so we're uh, alongside the telegraph pole. That's where we are. We're near the telegraph pole tour. So, if this isn't Bimal Wood Crags, then... There's some big cliffy rock in there. I can see it from down here though. There's some kind of slight bits underwater there. Looks kind of cool to me. So Bymore Wood Crags is just past the uh, distance of the unknown tour in the field with the telegraph lines. So that thing I passed there wasn't by more wood crags. So unknown tour. <laughs> Again. Wonder if there's any more like 
steep stacks on the other side there. Can't see any. Look at all these tree roots, man. Loads of them. Sticking out. And now we're past the telegraph lines where I was standing earlier. That tour is back there. And now if there's anything across the river, looking like a lot. I'm inclined to think it is by more wood crags. In that direction. In this direction, got to keep an eye open for when the down ends and uh, try and get through towards Raven Rock. kind of easy kind of uh, looking for tours in a way like you become accustomed to looking for rocks and the color and the shape and the shine of rocks through the trees so you kind of get used to knowing when you're seeing like soil or leaves or like silver birch trees and when you're seeing a rock stack that you should head to see I'm looking up here through the trees and my eyes are just kind of accustomed to the shapes and it's looking for I'm looking for glints and things mind you raven rock see I can see rocks over there there's meant to be quite a big cliff face so I don't see how I'd miss it yes so interesting stretch of the walking yeah there's a big cliff face here I think we got it boys so we're at the base of that lump I pointed out at the corner of the downs where the downs meets the tree line and uh, there's a little bit over there seems to be some plants growing up there that I can't identify in between that's interesting like white and green quite a lot of them what is that? And here is a much bigger one. This is kind of very big. <laughs> this is okay, this is huge actually. This is enormous. This isn't Durastone levels are big, but it's uh, maybe one third. Yeah, this is pretty fucking huge. I'm under it right now. It's it's a bit like being at the base of Haytor and looking up, uh, but a different kind of rock. Look at, ah, wow. Got the climbing people on this one if there weren't so many plants coming out of it. Or maybe they still could, I don't know. Look at that. Wow. That is huge. I think da Dad missed out on this one keeps going There's still more of it around here the ground's a bit iffy to step on because there's slate and stuff around it's like I'm concentrating on the tour so much don't know where I'm putting my feet look at that that's a good shot there oh it's massive it goes all the way up there as well I'm gonna try and get a shot before these people come So you can see how big it is. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, I think uh, Dad probably missed out on this one. I'll keep going this way just to see its extent around the bend here. There's more of it. That's a pretty big chunk up there. And there's more of it. There's a chunk over there. That might be the end of it, I think, maybe. Yeah, I think that one behind that messed up tree was the end of it. 
Look at all these stacks, dude. Let's just do a little time-lapse spin around like I did on Branscombe's life. Probably would have been better with a gimbal rig, which my camera doesn't have, but hey-ho. That is huge. <laughs> that is a huge tour. My god, that's the biggest one we've seen today. Still can't tell what these are between the first stack and the massive second stack. Oh, that is enormous. Okay, now we head back. So, that's it for today. We got all tours accounted for that we came for. There's two more up there on the other side that I'm going to get during a different trip. That'll be a lot shorter. A um, bit like the buy more video. Uh, but today we got West Down Crags. We got the Country Rock, which is pretty cool. We got White Rock, which I don't even, I don't even know, man. I don't even know why that's marked. And uh, we got but Cator higher. Uh, we got an unknown tour under the telegraph pole. Number one. We got Buckat or lower. We got an unknown tour across the river before Bymore. Woodcrags would be. And we got Raven Rock One. Uh, that's almost all the tours around the Buckland Monocorum area, except for two, I think. So thank you for watching.